Hey, it's Mark. So you've started looking at some products and you're kind of looking at di different options and you got yourself some samples and you've connected with your labs and it's all awesome and you got your samples on the wall and it looks fantastic. And the reason why that one's missing because it's on my table here, which I'll show you in a second. And you got your samples on the wall and you got your samples all laid out beautifully and clients are going, wow, I love this product. I love this canvas here. How much is that? And you're like $600 and they're like, what? 600 bucks for that? Why is it so expensive? And all that you can really come up with, well, can, like I buy from a premium lab and it's a premium product and it's gonna last you a really long time and it's a really, um, and the colors are really beautiful and it's much better than a department store um, and it just looks really nice on the wall. <laughs> That's not gonna cut it at all, like it's really not. So this video is all about learning about your products. In your PDF, you'll have a blank PDF that says product. I want you to print off this sheet for every product that you have. Every wall art, album, box, and your small art. Every product needs its own sheet because you need to learn about your product. Just because you go, oh, it comes in a box and it's got a torn edge and it's really pretty and um, you get 10 photos in it. That's worth uh, $2,000. But why? But why? Like, how are you gonna justify that? And you might be like, well, I'm a photographer. They're paying for the photography, the beautiful artwork. They're not paying for the product. Uh, you're kidding yourself, <laughs> really? Like, yes, they're paying for the artwork, but the way we make our money from photography is not just the beautiful images that we take, but it's a way that we display the product that they can't do that themselves, all right? So I just wanna say that your, your products are the difference between making $1,000 and a USB, and we used to sell this collection for $4,000, and we sold it all the time because people go, wow, that's amazing, I can't uh, make that. But how do we do it? Let's go through this sheet here. I'm going to talk about canvases specific. Canvas, because it's generic, it's all around the world, it's very basic. And I'm going to give you some examples on the canvas. Now notice that there's nothing written here, all right? I've done this so many times that I can just, off the top of my head, come up with all of this stuff. All right, game on. So, you're a client, and I go, they're like, I love your canvases. And they're like, this canvas here is actually $595, which is how much it was. And they're like, for one canvas, that's crazy. List the five features and benefits of the canvas. So I would say, well, look, with the canvases that we have, it's really, um, they're really awesome. The reason is this, they come with a 44 mil hardwood. A, it's a thick timber edge and it's a hardwood. It's not a balsa wood, it's not a pine wood, 10 mil or 20 mil. Because where we live in Australia, it's really hot and then it's really cold and the humidity gets into your timber. Now if you get a cheaper, um, a cheaper product from a department store, so don't name the department store, just say department store products, they know what they're talking about. You'll find that it's a pine, a, a balsa wood or pine wood, it's five mil or 10 mil, and within a year, it'll twist, it'll bow, and it won't lay flat on the wall. These aren't gonna move, these are solid as a rock. Now also, with the timber, you might actually notice there's a curved edge on the inside. The reason why that's so important is that the canvas is not pressing against the timber. So in a year or two or six months, you don't get this weird square because of the tension of the canvas is pressing on the timber. Now notice, it's like a drum. It's tension tight, so it's not gonna warp, it's not gonna go saggy, and it's not gonna be all a bit weird in a few years time because the frame is so sturdy, it's gonna be like this forever, all right? Now talking about the canvas, this is a cotton canvas, 100% cotton canvas. It's not a Chinese plastic synthetic canvas. So it will not split, it will not crack. All the color density is absolutely beautiful. So the monitor that I have is the same, the monitor, um, the colors that the printer has. So I know the quality of the print is gonna be beautiful. Now talking about the quality of the print, this is guaranteed to not fade for 75 years. Why do I say that? Because it's got a little tag at the back that says a 75 year guarantee. 
all right? Not only has it got a 75 year guarantee, it's also an unconditional guarantee. So Brilliant Prints, the lab that we get this from, says this, you have purchased the best quality canvas print. We are so confident in quality of the print that we're gonna offer a 75 year unconditional guarantee. The guarantee includes cover against accidental damage. So if I move house, which I'm moving house, and I break it, it's gonna be covered. How cool is that? Accidental damage. We will provide you with an identical replacement at absolutely no cost to you, excluding the freight, in the unlikely event that you wish to claim, simply contact your supplier. Now that was an offering that I could give to my clients. How much value is in that? If you're in a flood, if you're in a fire, if your kid throws a ball against a wall and it drops and it breaks, I will replace it. If I put my finger through it or I stab it with a pen for some reason, I will replace it for you at no extra cost because that's what my lab gives me. How awesome is that? Now, not only that, it's got this part here. Your print is handcrafted in Australia. It is created with museum grade archival canvas from North America and is optical brightener free. The inks used are certified by independent testers against uh, fading. The pigment based color inset is rated at 75 years. The print is sprayed with a protective uh, luminate that is uh, waterproof, abrasion resistant and contains both uh, fade in inhibiting UV blockers and anti-fungal components. The print is then sealed with professional acid-free framing tape. Now that, my friend, is features and benefits of the canvas. I didn't say, because it's really good quality and I get it from a pro lab. What you wanna do is highlight things that your clients can go to the department store and they can see and touch as a feature and a benefit. Well, wow, that's pulled really tight. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, that is a five mil frame. That is, a, oh, look at the timber pressing up against the canvas. Oh, it feels a bit flimsy. Okay, now I know what he's talking about. So you're showing value with the features and benefits that we have. All right. I want you to do that with every single product that you have because you need to make sure you can talk about your products. Now, you might not do a spiel like that, but if you got someone who's a bit of an asshole right? Who is like, that's ridiculously expensive. I would give them the full spiel and I'd be like, and lay it out. And they go, okay, you made your point. But you might do the simplified kind of version as well. All right. List five reasons your client would not want this product. How would you respond to your objection? So the objection is so expensive. Well, I've just told you why. There's one of the reasons. Canvases. They're outdated, aren't they? They've been around forever. It's like, well, you know what? They have. They've been around since the 17th century with paintings on them. The reason why, they're never gonna go out of fashion. Canvases will be around forever. It's a product that is so durable that's been used for centuries that we know that they're not gonna be kind of damaged and that they are going to last forever. The other part is that when you buy a product which is in a canvas, it's the image on the front that draws you to the picture. You don't get distracted by the framing, okay? So it's all about the artwork. So that means the artwork can be displayed anywhere in any home because you've shot with the end product in mind and you've also shot in a way that's gonna suit their home style and design. Now I had a, the, the wedding print. The wedding print I had was a beautiful beach. We got married in the Whit Sundays, all right? And I, I've used this story heaps of times. In the Whit Sundays, we got the wedding prints, we put it in our lounge room. In our lounge room, when we got married, we had um, a beige kind of couch and it was very earthy. It was a dark timber floor with a brick fireplace. So we got dark, um, uh, dark, um, what's the word? Um, uh, I've gone blank dark kind of furniture, dark table and coffee table and um, couches. And it was a little bit darker, it was a little bit earthier, it was a little bit warmer. And we had a fireplace and it was beautiful. So we got a, um, a darker frame for the wedding print, right? But then we moved to Queensland. And in Queensland, everything's hot. It's Queensland, everything's light, it's bright. We live near a beach. We changed all our furniture. 
we went from dark furniture to light furniture. It was greys, it was whites, it was timbers, it was very Scandinavian style. So what it meant is we put up the wedding print and went, ugh, that looks terrible with a dark frame. So we had to pay an extra $250 to reframe the picture to a white frame to suit our new furniture. Now the argument is, if we had have ordered that print in a canvas, it wouldn't have uh, mattered where it was because the image is gonna suit any decor because the image is the color and the, the style, all right? It's these kind of stories that you need up your sleeve to go the why, but why, but why? How is it going to work, all right? So, what style and type of home would the canvas uh, work in any style and type of home because it's canvas. It's all about the products. It's really lightweight It's easy to hang and it's simple and it works brilliant with the collection Product sizes any size it's canvas. They can make it to any size that they like which collections would suit the product Any collection because there's no canvas because canvas see if you put a boxed Canvas in this collection. It'd be so heavy with the box. It wouldn't look very nice you can't do this collection in a frame because it'll be too framey, it'll be too big, it'll be huge. So you need to make sure you learn about your products intricately. Contact your labs, contact your suppliers and ask them the details about your product. Where's this wood from? How is it made? What type of paper is it? What is the torn edge? You know, like you need to make sure that you know your products inside and out because if and when a client will challenge you about, well, that's expensive, why is that so expensive? You can talk to them in a way that the wood print is expensive. A, it's a photographic print with a Santex laminate on the front, so it's resistant to any scratching or kind of marking and then it's glued on with a marine grade glue to the wood and the wood is a marine grade uh, wood because it won't swell in the humidity and the cool like other timbers wood, like other wood wood. Huh. Um, so when you learn about your products and it's so easy to hang because it's a swivel thing. So once you've got it in the hook, you can make sure that it's on the right angle. It's so basic. Once you learn your products, you'll actually find they're so much easier to sell and your clients will have more confidence in you because you know your product so well. Oh, let me give this as an example, right? You go to a, like a dodgy kind of bistro, like a dodgy bar or a bistro, and you've got the menu in front of you and the waiter comes and they're like, hey, what would you like? And you would go, um, let me, hey, I wanna ask, what's in this meal here? And the waiter goes, don't know. Not sure, well, it says chicken and rice. It looks like a risotto. A few people have ordered it and it's really quite, it's quite nice, I've heard it's nice. I haven't had it, but I've heard it's, like, where's your confidence in that? But if you've ever gone to like a really ritzy, classy, nice restaurant, How's the service then? You'll sit down and it's like, good evening, good evening, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. Um, just letting you know that the specials for today is this. And they literally just go, blah, 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 blah. They, they, they go, this is, you know, it's, it's this steak and it's from this place and, and, and it's cooked like this and then it's got this sauce on it and it's made with this sauce and it comes with this and it's got the vegetable and it's, and it's like all these fancy words and all of a sudden you're like, I'll have what he's having. <laughs> I'll have what she's having, you know, like, like, all the, like they have so much confidence in their luxury food and you pay like $200 for it, which is ridiculous, but gee, it's good. It's so good because it's just a well-crafted meal and they know what's in it and how it's cooked, not just the local bistro for 20 bucks when, you know, the 16 year old is out the back and just cooking palmas. So it's one of those things, learn about your products. Weird example, but an example, all right? Hope you enjoyed that. Go do the research, print out the sheet, print this out for every product you have and learn about your products. Just because you sell amazing products, it doesn't mean that people are gonna buy them if you can't sell them to your clients. Hope you enjoyed that, speak to you soon, bye-bye.